Tobacco was the first cash crop in the first English colony in the U.S. that I'm aware of. Forgot when that was, but um, the men weren't allowed to send for their wives until they could pay for them. <laughs> uh, that sounds kind of bad. But they had to um, finance their trip by sending cash back to England or sending something that was worth cash back. And at first they didn't know what that would be until they found tobacco. And at one point it was worth its weight in silver. Um, I don't, you know, the timelines here are kind of blurry for me, but, um, and of, of course they, they brought in slaves for this purpose, which of, of course is a very sad thing, but, um, isn't it amazing how the different light can change the same thing? I mean, you know almost an entirely different picture. I was watching a show about the um, Golden Gate Bridge, how a photographer there would take a picture of the bridge every day from the same spot. And I'm sure most of the photos look the same. I mean, pretty much. But after a while, I'm sure you get used to I mean, you know, you get to notice the subtle differences and that's what photography is I mean well I'm not saying that I know what it is but most of the shots are probably pretty boring but it's that one in a hundred or one in a thousand shots turn out to be well I'll give you an example I was I was just taking some shots of the sunset and um, just random shots and uh, did a reverse and turns out uh, with the tree and, the, and it turns out that you know one of them looked like a looked like a, you know like an eyeball and <laughs> I mean there's no way I could have planned that or tried it or had that in mind or whatever but one of those one in a million shots. I mean, if I tried it again, I'm probably no way I could have done it. And with Ansel Adams, well, you know, that's how it won. That's how he convinced uh, President um, Roosevelt to. Well, he didn't need much convincing, but it helped him to set aside that land for parks and. I believe Roosevelt just asked his advisors, hey, can I just do this? Can I just set aside this land? And said, yeah, yeah, you're the boss, you're the prez, you can do that. I mean, he was into, you know, very into naturalism and hunting and preservation. And 